when we think about data, data sharing, privacy, how, how are you using tech to solve our biggest global challenges? You know, and, and how can it be used for good? We, we are all feeling the effects of the pandemic and recession and supply chain issues. It's not just coming just like that anymore, is it? Um, so talk to us a little bit about what's happening with you at Maersk. Yeah, for sure, and, and thank you for, for the question. Uh, maybe before we go into technology, which is obviously my favorite topic, uh, just a quick context about why global supply chain and global logistics is so important for everybody uh, around the world. And so it's really important to know that 80% of global trade is moving inside containers. 80% of everything that you own, that you have in your home, you have in your offices, four out of five things here, at some point was inside a container. Um, we at Maersk, we own 20% of the global containerized logistics business. And so we have a strong point of view about this topic. And hopefully now when we establish that global supply chain is cool and important, uh, let's talk quickly about technology. And so I think there are a few reasons and a few ways to think about why data and technology is so keen for this industry. Probably the biggest one is about scale. Every given moment, 40 million containers are moving around the world, even now. Each container will move up to, up to six times a year, and the lifespan of a container is 25 years. So moving constantly 25 years. So the scale is pretty massive. Second is about how fragmented and manual this industry. So it's not uncommon that in order to support one container, there are 30 parties that are involved, more than 100 people, and more than 200 exchanges of documents and data points. To move one container. Move one container. So they still look at this audience, 30% of them will be involved in the move of one container. Very fragmented and very manual. And the last point to mention is about the environment. And so global logistics is contributing 3.5 billion ton of CO2 emission a year. 3.5 billion ton. And we at Maersk, we have a big play in that as well. And so the combination of a large scale industry, very manual and fragmented processes, and such a deep link to the environment and to the future of the planet, in my mind, makes technology a perfect avenue for the future of global supply chain. Now, what are we doing about it? And so, as I mentioned before, since we put technology front and center in our agenda a few years ago, we started to invest tremendously in modernizing our technology and enabling all these systems to omit data in the right way so we can then put machine learning and optimization on top of the data and help customers more help them with the better network optimization, help them with better contingency planning, and help them better connect to us as a company. Just maybe one or two examples for what does it mean? And so let's talk about booking. Uh, if you are a customer and you want booking at Maersk, previously what you needed to do is to pick up your phone, send us an email, uh, maybe fax at some point, very manual and clunky. Today, customers can just go to MERS.com, where we have 80% of the booking that is happening there is 100% digital. So think about how much time and effort we can reduce with that. Moving from booking uh, to the documents that we just discussed, these 200 documents and data points that we exchange. So we launched together with some other big tech players and the biggest shipping companies in the world, a company named Tradelands. What Tradelands does is helping to digitize this document in a secured way, leveraging blockchain, so customers can move and interact with themselves, with other authorities, and move these documents in a digital way. What does it mean? So in, before, as a customer, you needed to drive somewhere, go to an office, wait in line, get your document, get it stamped, and then go back to where we needed. Today, you go to a website, you get the, the document, and we digitize more than 10 million documents year to date with, with Tradelands.